Hello! In this ECE 102 lesson video, we'll explore making scatter plots, adding a best fit line to data, and using a secondary y axis. Warning at the outset, there are several slightly different versions of Excel Mac versus PC, downloaded versus cloud, release here. The example I show here will show you the general ideas, but the exact buttons you press may be a little different. What do you do if you get stuck? Ask for help. Office hours are your best resource, but there are also plenty of online forums you can find. Here I have a small data set. Eight people were surveyed regarding their age, height, and weight. I want to see if there's any relationship between these columns of data, and I'll explore that by making scatter plots. First, I'll look at height versus age. When I phrase it that way, height versus age, it suggests y versus x. In other words, height is the dependent variable, and age is the independent variable. To make a plot, I'll start by inserting a blank plot window. On the Insert tab, I click on the Scatter Chart drop-down, and then choose the Basic Scatter option. Just dots, no lines. Now I have a blank window which will fill up when I select data. If you remember one thing from this video, remember that right-click is your friend. I right-click on the window, then choose Select Data. I click the Add button, and now I see this interface. For each of these fields, I will click the arrow icon and then choose Cells from the spreadsheet. For Series Name, I choose the name of the dependent variable Height. For X values, I choose the independent variable Age. Thankfully, I already noted that Age would be the independent variable. This keeps me from flipping the data. I click and drag over all of the age data, then press Enter. For Y value height data, I click the whole column, and then press Enter. I get a little preview of the plot in the background. It looks good, so I press OK. The data is plotted, but there are no labels yet, so the data is meaningless. Let's add labels. The easiest way is to go to the Chart Design tab, then Quick Layout, then choose the first option. This adds text fields for a title, legend, and X and Y axis labels. To change the X axis label, I click on the text, delete what's already there, and type the label I want. In this case, it says age in years. It is important to include units along with the variable name. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. I now change the Y label to read height in inches. This is looking better now. The title and legend are redundant, but I'll leave them in. They'll be useful later on. Now let's add a best fit line, or a trend line, to examine the relationship between height and age. I right click on a data point, then choose Add Trend Line. I'll leave it as linear right now, but I will check the boxes for Display Equation and Display R Squared Value. I'll drag the resulting text to the side a bit so we can see it better. What does this tell us? First, the dotted line is the best fit line, or the straight line that most closely passes through all the points in the data set. This equation is simply the equation of that dotted line. And R squared tells us the goodness of fit, or whether there seems to be a strong correlation between height and age. What do you think? Is there a strong correlation? Would knowing a person's age let you accurately predict their height? The answer is no. In this data set, there are young people who are taller and young people who are shorter. It really seems quite scattered. And that visual inspection is reinforced by the very low R-squared value, close to zero. Now let's add weight versus age to the same plot. Watch closely as I go through the same steps as before to add this data. The only difference is I will select the Y values from the weight column. Okay, the data is now on the plot, but something is not quite right. Can you spot it? 
The Y label says height, but some of the data is actually weight. A good way of handling this is to move the weight data to a secondary Y axis. To do this, I right click on one of the weight data points and choose Format Data Series. On the right side of the screen, I see the option I want, Primary or Secondary Axis. I choose Secondary. We're getting somewhere now, just a couple of issues left. First, it's a little cluttered. Let me move this text around. And then let me adjust the limits of this Y axis so there's less overlap. To do that, I right click on the axis numbers and choose Format Axis. Rather than starting at zero and going up to 80, I'll make the axis go from 50 to 90. That shifts the blue points down a bit. I'll do something similar to the x-axis so that age ranges from 15 to 45. This is looking much better, not so much wasted space. However, I'm still missing one important thing, the secondary y-axis label. To add this, I click on Chart Design, then Add Chart Element. I come down to Axis Titles and choose Secondary Vertical. Now I type in the text needed, Weight in Pounds. Take a second to pause and consider. Does there look to be a correlation between weight and age? To me, it looks like there's a bit of a positive correlation. As age increases, weight tends to go up. Let's check this with a trend line. Right click on a data point, add trend line, display equation, and R squared value. This orange line is clearly going upwards, and it has a higher R squared value than the blue line. This tells us that weight has a stronger correlation to age than does height, at least for this data set. With that being said, however, it's still not a very strong correlation. It's closer to zero than to one. I now want to show one final demonstration that's a recap of everything shown so far. I'll make a plot of weight versus height from scratch. I won't be talking, but simply observe as I go through the steps from creating a blank chart window, to selecting the data, to adding labels and a trend line. All right, here's the final plot. Visually, I can see a much stronger correlation. Weight tends to go up as height goes up. This is reinforced by the much higher R-squared value. In a future lesson, we'll dive deeper into the meaning of the R-squared value and look at other best fit lines besides linear. But this should serve as a useful introduction to making and analyzing scatter plots.